Okay, Major. Well, Colonel, what kind of a mission were you on this morning? We had two of them. Two of them? What time did you start? 8.45 last night. When did you finish? Uh, 8.30 this morning. A little sleepy? Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you see over there? Uh, a lot of airborne <clears throat> troops, paratroopers going in, spreading out. One minute you see them, the next minute they're all gone. Pretty big show? Damn big. Did you see any, uh, any naval op operations at all? Yeah, there's a great big uh, conflagration of, uh, of uh, large and small, all types of craft right near the beach there. A couple thousand, I'd say. Go ahead. How do you like night flying, Colonel? <clears throat> oh, it's wonderful. The less I have of it, the better I like it. <laughs> <laughs> we're not yeah. supposed to be night fighters, you know. No, well, we're fighter bombers, night flyers, and everything else now, aren't we? What do you think of it, Steve? Okay. What do you think of night flying, Steve? Well, it's not so good for combat, Colonel. It's all right in the States. A few lights around to look at. But you uh, can't see it when you can't see exactly what you're doing. You don't know what's around you. I think you've got something there. I don't know. You can't, uh, you can't work to uh, what you feel you're fully capable of. Yeah, that's right. We've had so darn little of it that it's not really up our alley. That's right. Right. I think of a lot of things I'd rather do than Friday night escort. Yeah. Can't see what you're escorting. Did all. How did you see last night, Turner? I saw an awful lot of big bangs and a lot of <laughs> explosions, but I was too scared to appreciate it. <laughs> you know, I, I really thought I was in the war last night for the first time when you see that flat coming up at you like that. What impressed me about it this morning was the way that uh, those parachutes looked like confetti scattered all over the ground down there, you know. Can you else? boys see that uh, chateau down there with the GIs lying on the grass? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> having a tea party. Taking sun baths in France already. How but they weren't having a tea party up in the front line, though. <laughs> see those two gliders come in the line of breast that come right in and just right up on the old tree. Yeah. You've got to say your piece in here, too. Come on, Edward. <laughs> Put in there, too. Well, the thing that impressed me most of all was all the kites going in and coming out. Seemed like they just threw all those batters in there. That's Endless line of them, going and coming. Uh, Tenor, I think the kids want to know about the, what impressed you most on the beach when you first went in this morning. Well, the thing that impressed me most of all was the fact that uh, the, least, the little amount of time that had elapsed that cleared the beaches so good. I mean, it, a tremendous amount of stuff they've been thrown in there in the time they had. Those beaches were very well cleared and it seemed like the traffic was cleared up and they were really going to town. It did no seem congestion like. at all. It's like they're just throwing that stuff in there and getting rid of it fast. Uh, getting rid of it fast, all right. And that's a good deal, but just going without sleep don't get it. <laughs> I'd ask the Major that question again, Captain. Uh, Major Turner, uh, would you give us an overall picture of what you thought about that beachhead when you went in this morning? <coughs> Well, the overall picture is pretty hard to give, but the thing that impressed me most was the magnitude of the whole thing. I've never seen in one conglomeration the amount of ships and airborne troops and gliders and parachutes and paraphernalia around. But the thing that, that really impresses one is the fact that it's all cleared away and they're ready to use it. I Instead see. of being a congested mess while it's really going fine. About these gliders, uh, how did they throw those in there? Oh, that was beautiful. They'd bring them up, and where they'd flooded it, or they'd just jump over it with the gliders and land it beyond. And flooding was very little use, as far as I could see. And Jerry flooded the whole area over there. Well, right? he didn't flood the whole area, but he flooded enough to make it nasty if we didn't have gliders. Good morning, boy. That was yeah. really something over there. It really was, huh? Uh, did you see any Jerry's today flying around over there, Brad? No, oh, we didn't see anything. We had everything under control. Well, then you didn't get a chance to raise your score up to 15 from 14, did you, Brad? No, I didn't have a chance to do anything. All we saw over there were Spitfires, 51s, 38s, 47s, and a hell of a lot of boats. How many hours sleep did you get last night? Uh, none of us got any sleep, but we got a good start this morning. Did you get about two or three hours sleep last night? No, we didn't get any, but uh, uh, we carried a lot of stuff in there. All yours. Well, Brad, I guess we're on our way. 
Well, we got everything pretty well under control over there today, and it looks like we're on our way for sure. Go. Uh, we're on our way, boy, and we won't stop till we get to Berlin. Good. One more. Uh, we're on our way, and we won't stop till we get to Berlin. One well, more. we're on our way, and we won't stop till we get to Berlin. Good. <laughs> 